Hey guys, I'm back. New show. Today I want to focus on video settings for HD gaming footage. These settings will be specifically for YouTube. Let's begin. Start by going to New Project and select HDV which stands for High Definition Video and is basically a subset for HD. This template works better for me in most cases so I recommend it for you as well. Change the resolution to either 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080 Using the bigger resolution makes the final render bigger, takes more time to render, but the quality looks really good. And having lower resolution makes the file smaller, but doesn't look as sexy. The point is, when you're making an HD gaming video, you want to use one of these resolutions. If you're able to record your gameplay with 60 FPS, then I highly recommend to change this to 60 FPS. Don't use 60 FPS if you're not recording with 60 FPS. I'm using Shadowplay to record my videos which I highly recommend. Now you may wonder why I'm not typing in 60 and just leaving it at 59.940. There's a reason for that. 59.940 or 29.97 are compatible pulling rates for cable systems, satellite receivers, and it's just more friendly towards other types of equipment, especially broadcasting ones. For now, it's the best flexible choice for best possible frame-to-frame -frame registration, also known as pulling. Put the rest of the settings on like I have. It's also very important to check full resolution rendering quality on best. And lastly, select start all new projects with these settings. Now I recommend to save your project settings with the name of your YouTube channel and the date so that you know when you made these settings and it's easier to organize your work. Now when we add a video we get this little info box. Simply put, no. Now let's go to render settings. The best template for YouTube is the Sony AVC MVC. In this list, choose Internet 1920x1080 30p or 1280 720 30p. Why these templates, you may ask? Now, YouTube loves KBAC. All you really need to know is that KBAC is used together with the famous H.264 codec to create the best possible compression. Also, YouTube recommends this codec when they're compressing your video. Here, we're gonna put the frame rate to 60 FPS, or 59.940 if you wanna be specific, and now we get to the bit rate. There's a lot of different settings for the bit rate. The higher the bit rate, the bigger the file, but it doesn't necessarily mean better quality. Here's my recommendations for YouTube. Some of you might think that this is very low. Well, first of all, the higher bitrate you choose, the more YouTube will need to compress it after it's been uploaded. So if you're rendering it in a lower bitrate, YouTube will not compress it as much and it will still look good. Second of all, the file is small and not unnecessarily big, which means it takes less time to upload. To be honest, some people overkill by using way too much bitrate, unless they want a high quality local copy of their video for editing later. But if the point is just to upload on YouTube and get good quality on YouTube, take my advice and choose these settings. Now we're down to encode mode. If you're able to choose GPU, it will greatly improve rendering speeds. These are the requirements in order for you to use this feature. If you can't, just choose CPU. For gaming videos, you just want to keep the audio settings as they are. If you're doing, for example, a live show with a good microphone, choose 384,000 on bitrate because that's the value recommended for stereotyped videos. Lastly, make sure this is set to best. Now save it and name it like you did with the project settings. You're now done here. But there's one last thing. Before rendering a video, you want to right click the video, go to switches and disable resample. The reason we're doing this is to prevent our videos from experiencing what is called frame ghosting. This is when multiple frames are blended together and it doesn't look so clean. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day guys.